Hey, Tom Wiley here, and for the last four years, I've been working out of a Quonset hut shop. You know, the kind that's like a tin, tin can that's halfway buried in the ground. Um, this round shape is very unique, very convenient and inconvenient at the same time, um, but it's a metal building. Um, which it has in common with a lot of modern metal buildings. It gets really hot in the summer sun. So let me show you a plan I came up with for how to cool this thing. So this is a southern exposed side of the building. Um, that whole surface gets boiling hot, blazing hot in the sunshine, especially being its nice olive drab color um, so as hot as that gets I found a way to cool it and it, it all comes down to a pipe that I have you can see the the pipe go up here I'm gonna show you up here but um, up way up top there's a black uh, three-quarter inch poly pipe that runs the length of the building and that poly pipe that runs from this end all the way down to that end it has little tiny holes. I think it was roughly a number 50 size drill bit or something there, you know, in that range. It was a really tiny drill bit. Every four inches along the length of the pipe, I drilled on the same side. I, I tried to keep it as straight as possible so that only on one side of the pipe had these holes every four inches, T little tiny holes. And what that does is I'll come over to the valve here. What we've got here is a garden hose and a garden hose, uh, you know, adapter, just a three-quarter threaded, this is iron pipe, and a ball valve. Turn on the ball valve and it feeds water up. This is becomes a black poly pipe. It goes up and goes along the whole line of the roof. And let me see if I can get a good angle here so you can see the mist. I don't know if we're going to get to see the mist, but what it does is it just mists water out of those little tiny holes every four inches. You can see the side of the building is already glistening wet. Um, what it does is it just drips water over that whole, this whole surface. Now I could have misted water over the entire building, but to keep things simple, I wanted the, the holes coming out of the side of the pipe just on one side so that I could aim it because if those, um, what I did is orient the pipe so that it sh it the holes shot the water kind of straight out sideways um, toward the south toward this direction, so that it would just gently, you know, mist down, rain down onto the metal. If it was oriented so that it was pointing down directly at the metal roof, it it sounded like it was raining inside, and so it was very it was very hard to shoot video inside because I have this constant rain sound on the roof even if it was a brand you know a blue sunny clear day outside um, it would sound like it was raining so it was really annoying so um, I moved I oriented the pipe so that they sprayed out sideways and it just was simple doing it I think if I were to mist both sides I'd probably use two pipes so that I could aim it and not have you know not have water shooting out one way but the other hole on the other side of the pipe being not quite aligned so it was end up ending up shooting at the building uh, at the metal so um but that ended up being adequate just cooling just the south side of the building has been enough because um the the north side is sort of under partial shade um uh so and it just ends up being enough um so what it does is just cools the surface in two ways. So you have, number one is you have cold water hitting a hot surface, therefore cooling that hot surface down. Number two is evaporation. When the water hits that hot surface and just the water being on it in a hot, on a hot sunny day, the heat and the sun causes that water to evaporate. The, the process of evaporation creates a cooling effect. It lowers the temperature um, in that area. So. We have two things going for us that help cool the surface of this building down. Now, because this shop ha is minimally insulated, in fact, it's almost non-insulated, we'll take a quick peek inside. So see, I had a few insulation panels up, but very minimal. Um, the majority of it is uninsulated. So it's just, you're looking at the underside 
of the metal roof. And uh, that surface gets very, very hot to the touch um, when it's in the sun, well, when, it, when the sun is out, um, or when it's a warm day at all. Um, it gets very hot to the touch. So, uh, but with the, the cooling, uh, it's not so hot. Now, I've only been running it for probably 10 minutes total. Wow, and I forgot how cool it actually gets. So, it has actually worked very, very well. Um, I've had people come in the shop who asked if I had air conditioning because it, it cooled the building so effectively. Uh, not quite air conditioning, but close to it. Um, and, I mean, pff, how simple is this? It's just a ball valve and some three quarter inch poly pipe, which is really cheap, and a couple fittings. Um, uh, so you can control how much water is coming out by just adjusting the ball valve if if I'm uh, it You know, it's like running a sprinkler. You're using water um, You could yeah, you could rig up a gutter system and recirculate the water with a pump and and end up, you know Using not as much water you'd lose you'd lose some to evaporation, but um, you wouldn't use as much as I'm using right now, but as we've had it so far, um, we have been on, uh, it really doesn't use all that much water, especially if I can, if I control it. I basically get it, I set the ball valve so that it uses just enough water to keep the surface, that surface of the building wet at all times so that there aren't, it's not like drying out and having a hard time keeping up. It's just fully wet all the time, but not to the ex to excess you know there's not copious amounts of water just dripping off the lower edge if there's a lot of drips then it's obvious i'm using more water than necessary so there you have it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more i'll catch you later